I am your host, Mr. Sundell. Today's date is Thursday, November 14th. Sergio is our arm wrestling champion of the day. Please write down the date, 11-14-2019. We are defining transformation. Specifically, can anyone read our objective? Julian. There it is. Thank you, Julian. All right, so... We have very, very specific properties. Some of them sound weird, and I didn't even list the weirdest one on here because it's like, what is it even it's asking for? When you get to it on the homework, I can talk about it. If you ever see something that says, it is also the diameter of the circle, you can kind of ignore that part and still get it right. But anyway, I just have a bunch of examples for you because I think that's the best way to learn how to do this. Generally speaking, your strategy is this. Somehow draw a diagram of what it's saying. Through that diagram, you should be able to figure out if it's a reflection, dilation, rotation, translation. It should be not too hard, but you do need some practice at it. So here we go. A certain mapping in the XY plane has the following property. Each point P has coordinates XY. So just choose a random point P. And then it's going to change to negative XY. Is it a reflection, rotation, or translation? So someone choose a point. Just like shout it out. A point, something comma something. One comma one. one comma one. You can also guess the answer and we'll see if we're correct. Reflection. All right, let's see if it's a reflection. One comma one. Well, if it was positive one comma positive one, it now changes to a what? Shout it out. Negative one comma one. So it looks like just from our first point, it could be either a reflection over this line. It could be a rotation around this by 90 degrees. We're not quite sure. Let's do another point, right? Choose another random point. Someone go. Negative 4, comma 2. Negative 4, 2. I like it. So I have negative 4, comma 2. Oh, wait. Negative 4, comma negative 2. Uh, let's just... Oh, yes. that That's the wrong point. <laughs> negative 4, comma... That's, that's a teacher. Wait, you want to do this point down here? Negative 4, negative 2? Yeah. Okay. Negative 4, negative 2. I thought I wrote that on the wrong point. All right, so this is going to change to what? If it was negative 4, negative 2, I have to add an additional negative. So it's going to become what? Someone aside from Andres? Double negative. Double negative, which is a positive x. Positive x. So it's a positive 4 and negative 2. So positive 4, negative 2. Oh, that's definitely not a rotation anymore. Can you guys see what it is just from those two points? Reflection. It is indeed a reflection. It's a reflection over the line um, x equals zero. I mean, you did guess it correctly, but you, yeah, sure, we'll give it to you. It's Andres's call. It is a reflection. It is A. So just keep listing points following the rules. See what it is. If you need another point, just list another point. See what happens. Are there questions on how we did example one, Sergio? What would be a translation if I had something like x plus 2y? That would be a translation. Um, let's try another one. Example number two. <laughs> Editor, I will make you stand up if you keep putting your head down. A certain mapping in the XY plane has the following property. Each pair of points A and B is mapped to another pair of points A prime B prime such that A, A prime, B prime, B is a rhombus. Whoa. First of all, what is a rhombus? Can someone draw a rhombus off to the side of their paper. Let me circle around the classroom now, see how many people can draw a rhombus. So a rhombus, I think of it as a square that someone sat on. So it's a square square such that these are all the same lengths, but it's not 90 degree angles. Well, I mean, it could be 90 degree angles, but they have to be parallel and they have to be the same lengths. It's a square square. Someone sat on the square. There's a rhombus. So let's just make a rhombus somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna have a point here. And a point here. Oh, we have to be careful about actually making it a rhombus. The way to make sure it is, it is actually a rhombus is to make it a square, because a square is technically a rhombus. So I'm definitely sure that this is a rhombus because it's a square. So I'm going to label these. This was A and B, sure, which means it should say A, B, B prime. So this has to be B prime. I'm just reading these in order. A goes to, wait, sorry. A goes to A prime. So A goes to a prime and then a prime goes to b prime so from a prime to b prime and then b prime to b so this shape right here is a rhombus is technically square also yes wait isn't that uneven though cuz isn't it a a prime supposed to be in 2 comma 2 no i mean each of these i'm counting three squares 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 oh, okay, yeah it's good to check though thank you 
this is a rhombus. So how did I get from A to A prime? How did I get from B to B prime? It's definitely not a reflection. It's definitely not a rotation. Therefore, it is a translation. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm very inconsistent with my rules and shouting out, aren't I? What do you guys feel should be appropriate? Do you guys want to shout them out, or do you guys want to raise your hand? Well, it depends. Like, if it's like, if she's just like asking questions like that, you should let people shout them out. So if it's an easy question, I should... If it's a harder it's question, a harder question or multiple choice, you should, make people raise your hand. should I always say raise your hand or shout it out every single time so you guys know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll start doing that. Sorry about that. I'll be better. Okay, it is a translation. I'll be better. <laughs> I want to be a better teacher, and you guys will make me a better teacher. All right. Um, are the questions on example two? How do you do it? So I know that it's not a reflection because in this example. The left-hand side was 2, and this right-hand side was 1. These lengths should be equal. This should be a perpendicular bisector of these points, which it is not. It's not a bisector. Um, a rotation means I rotated from here to here, but if I rotated from here to here, I should have rotated from here to out here somewhere. So it's not a rotation because it has to be constant. Uh, the only thing left is a translation. That makes sense. I translate 3 to the right. I translate 3 to the right, or I could have translated down 2, right 1, down 2, right 1. Let's try example number three. All right. Ooh, we have two properties now. Each point on the line y equals 2x minus 1 mapped to itself. All right. Well, first we got to graph 2x minus 1 then. So can someone give me a quiet raised hand for a point that is on the line 2x minus 1? And if you guys shout this one out, since I said raise your hand, I'll just take some HP. I think that sounds fair. Jose, uh, negative, one. negative one is a point on the line 2x minus 1. Can someone else give me a quiet raised hand for another point that is on the line? Andres, yeah. Can I take a guess? Yeah, go for it. You get XP either way. 2x two. Two. squared. <laughs> oh. I, I need two points. I need like something comma something. Oh. What is another point that is on the line? Like on the white on the line 2x minus 1. 2, two comma? 2 comma. Just 2. Just 2. Two. 2 is not a point. 2 comma 0. This point is not on the line 2x minus 1, but I'll give you XP for trying. 2 comma negative 1. 2 comma negative 1 would be right here, which is still not on the line, but good attempt. Fernando, you want to give it a shot? Uh, 0 comma negative 2. 0 comma negative 2 right here? That is not quite on the line. You still get XP for trying. So this is in the form points, or it's not point slope form. It's slope intercept. So slope intercept. The intercept is negative one, so that's why negative one is on the line. And then the slope is two, which means I go right one up two. Again, oh. right one up two. So I'm going to go from this point right one up two, two, two. So another point that is on this line is one comma one. If I go right one up two. That's another point. Right one up two. Or I can go backwards. Left one down two. Left one down two. These are all the points that are on the line 2x minus 1. And this is just a review of like, I don't know, month three of Algebra 1. Andres, yes. Um, I have a comment. Yes. That's a nice hat. Thank you. Claire made it for me. Wait, so is that XP? Because remember complimenting? Yeah, it is. It's 5 XP per compliment, which is not very much, oh, but there it is. You're such a great teacher. I'm just gonna, I just got to be honest. Andres, you are such a good complimenter. <laughs> Give me my XP. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so there's the line. 2x minus 1. It has a slope of 2. It has a y-intercept of negative 1. So we just said any point on the line, 2x minus 1 maps to itself. So if I have this point P, this point P maps onto itself. This is P, and it's also P prime. Let's read the second one. That's kind of more important. Any point P that is not on the line maps to a new point P prime such that the perpendicular bisector P to P prime, I'm connecting the pre-image or the source to the image, I'm connecting those two, is a perpendicular bisector to this line that we just made. So let's just make up a new point. Um, I'm going to choose, um, I don't know, this point right here, negative 1, 3. That's actually not the best point. <laughs> Sorry. Let's choose this point right here, negative 1, 2. That is a point that can be a perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular by default means that you have an oppos opposite reciprocal slope. 
and that is a fancy way of saying if my slope was two over one, my um, my perpendicular, I'll write perpendicular here, my perpendicular line must be negative one over two because I flip it and make it negative. Perpendicular means flip it, make it negative. So if I have a slope of negative one half, I could go right two down one, right two down one, point, right two down one, point. That means if this was P, this is P prime down here. I know that this is a perpendicular bisector because if I draw it out, it, it looks right. I'm in the instruction says connect P to P prime. You should have this line segment P to P prime. I just made that line segment. Is this line segment a perpendicular bisector? And the answer is yes. Check it out. 90 degrees right here. And these are both the same lengths. So I just put little tick marks here. What are you guys thinking so far? Are you feeling like it's a reflection, rotation, translation? What are you guys feeling? Quiet raised hand. Take a guess. Jose just did the last one. Andres has been participating a lot. I still appreciate you guys raising your hands. And you guys are my backups. Does anyone else have a feeling on what this is going to be? I want to make everyone guess. You're going to do one, two, or three. Hold up a number. Take a guess. One is reflection. Two is rotation. Three is translation. Five is, I don't know. So Andres does not know. <laughs> uh, the correct answer, let's see. Most people I see... Three, two, two, one, 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 two. Uh, let's do one more then. Let's choose a point like this. Let's choose a point, I don't know, negative four, comma one. <coughs> Again, it should have this slope negative one half because that will make it perpendicular. So if I go negative one half, that means I go two to the right. I'll write this down. Two right, one down. So two right, one down. Chunk, two right, one down. Chunk. I have to go the same distance. Two right, one down. Chunk, two right, one down. Chunk. That means that if this was, I'll call this one Q, I guess, this point down here would be Q prime. I wonder if anyone's answers changed now. P went to P prime. Q went to Q prime. Hold up fingers again. One, two, or three. Reflection, rotation, or translation. Everyone take another guess. Three is not correct. All right, the correct answer is one. It was a reflection. You're reflecting over this line. It's not a rotation because if you're rotating, I don't know, rotating from here to here versus from here to here, it's not the same angle of rotation. Um, generally speaking, let me close by saying this. If it's somehow talking about a line, then you're probably doing a reflection because you have a line of reflection. If it's somehow talking about adding or subtracting, it's probably going to be a translation. If it's somehow talking about an angle, like the angle is 36 degrees, then it's probably going to be a rotation. That is my hint to everyone. A line will give you a reflection, adding or subtracting will give you a translation, and an angle will give you a rotation. That will cover like 50% of the problems. This one talked about a line. Check it out. Each point on the line, just from reading that one word, is probably going to be a reflection. This one up here, um, it was hard because it's a quadrilateral, so that there's there's no rule that applied to that one. Um, this one up here had a negative x. Again, it doesn't really apply to this one, but these do apply to quite a few problems. That's all I have for you guys. You may now begin the homework on Khan Academy.